Would you like to learn how to dictate your book in any software or device? Question mark. Then in today's video, we're going to show you five different ways to voice dictate your content. So stay tuned! Exclamation point. Hey, I'm Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author as well as a self-publishing advocate who wants to show you how to publish books that sell. And you're going to want to make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm going to show you five different ways of dictating your book in any software or device. And good news, you don't need Dragon software or any of the hardware that comes with that. Let's start out with number one, the easy button as I call it, Rev. It's really simple. All you need to do is get your mobile device out or any type of recording device and record yourself. And you take the audio file and you're going to send it over to Rev to get them to transcribe it. Actually, if you visit dalelinks.com slash Rev, you can get $10 off your first order. And that's about eight minutes of content, which is pretty stinking good, if you don't mind me saying so. Now comes the DIY methods, all right? So warning ahead of time. Anytime you're doing voice dictation, voice to text type features, you're gonna need to speak out your punctuation. So when you finish up a sentence, you're gonna need to say period or question mark or exclamation point. And there are sometimes special commands, but for the sake of keeping this video short, I will let you search up some of those special commands, maybe insert a few of them here and there. The number one DIY method, Microsoft Word. Select Dictate. Speak out everything and edit it afterwards. Pretty simple, right? Let's keep this train rolling. We're going to go over to Google Docs. That's 100% free as long as you got a Gmail account. Select Add-ons. Hover over Speech Recognition Sound Writer. Select Start. The first time you'll be prompted with a script attached to this document needs your permission to run. Select Continue and you'll be prompted to log into your Gmail account. Click Allow once prompted. Now, the nice thing is you got this out of the way. You won't have to worry about those permissions later on so you come back in, it's already set. Select the Record button. First time you'll be prompted by your browser to allow it. Now speak out everything. Press the Record button to stop. In most instances, if you have, say for instance, a PC or a laptop, you got to make sure that you have at least an onboard mic to kind of do some of these things. But uh, I hopefully kind of knew that ahead of time. Most laptops already have an onboard microphone. Mac. Go to System Preferences. Select Keyboard. Select the Dictation tab. Make sure Voice Dictation is on and use Enhanced Dictation. Select your preferred shortcut. Go to any document software, be it over on Pages, Keynote, Notepad, it doesn't matter. And all you're going to do is use your preferred shortcut here. Now speak out everything. Remember, punctuation. And here's a command for you to remember here is to enter. You just say next line. Click done when you're finished. Now it's time for mobile. Oh, I love to do mobile here. So most any app is going to work with this. If you got some type of texting, I'm showing you iPhone, but this will work nonetheless over on Android as well. So I'm going to go into iPhone notes. I'm going to tap a new document, tap the microphone option. I'll speak out everything. And remember punctuation and this command say, Next line when you want to press enter, kind of like what you're doing on a keyboard. I prefer mobile most of the time because I can dictate on the go. So this is really a fast and efficient way of dictating your content. As a reminder, you're going to have to go through each one of these and edit and of course proofread some of this stuff. So don't think that you're going to be able to just write a book through voice dictation alone. It's going to need some deep editing before you can even publish it at all. Hey, and while uh, we're talking about dictation and transcriptions, I did talk about Rev.com earlier inside this video. I actually have a full review about Rev.com. You're going to want to make sure you take a look at that the very next video. I'll see you there. What are you waiting for? See you in the next video.